Good afternoon, Adam here. I had a request and a comment to do a video on how to attach files to an email. I I had a video on how to do these automated emails, and I thought I would show two different ways that you can send files in your email attachment, or files as an email attachment, essentially. Uh, although it's not technically an email attachment, you'll see what I mean here in a second. So I am going to use the same board that I was using for my uh, original how to send automated emails video. Uh, I will link to that to show you how I reached this point. Uh, so you can watch that video if you want to have an idea as to, as to how to get to this uh, escalating sort of automated uh, email follow-up list. So without going back through all this, essentially the goal is you make a request, you can have a follow-up, initial follow-ups, and eventually if for whatever reason you can't get your invoices paid or the job done, whatever it may be, you can escalate it to another person generally. So for example, this might be someone in your sort of low-level sales department or a paralegal or a legal assistant or a receptionist or whoever uh, to send out invoices. Uh, and if people don't pay it after a while, then you escalate to the lawyer who then may reach out directly. I, but let's just say you want this escalation to be by email. I, and in this case, you want to have the invoice attached to the email that you send to the person who's going to handle the escalated request. So let's just do another, well, I already used Bob and John, Joe. All right, so let's just say we have an invoice to Joe and now you need to set it up so you can attach files. So you're going to click on the plus button, you're going to click on files, and now you're going to have this nice little files column, and then you're going to attach your file. So I've been playing around with that AI picture thing, so I'm just going to attach this picture of a clownfish testifying at a court trial, which <laughs> I like this expression. So I will click and drag it from my file explorer into files and for the sake of argument let's just say that was your invoice so it's going to say joe owes me four thousand dollars i and then there it is so now you have to create an automation that will attach the file whenever it's escalated so i'm going to turn these two off because we're going to do it i'm going to add, add a little bit to it but i want to leave them attached to this account so when the status, status being the status bar of follow-up, second follow-up, escalate, changes to escalate, then I'm going to send an email, and I'm going to use my Gmail account. Right, here's where it is. Escalated. I can't, I can never spell escalated. I don't know why. And then we're going to say item name. So it pulls the item name out of the item name category, which is sort of the first thing. It is overdue. Please see attached. And then you're just going to click the files button. So you'll the files button was not there until you added the files category. So that may be where people get a little hung up. And then it's going to attach the files. And then finally, who who wants it? In this case, I want it to go to me. So then we're going to create the automation, and I will escalate this, and give it a second, and then once I hear my computer ding, I will pause for a second because i got to open up my email box, and I can't show you the other uh, emails that are in there. So yep, there it goes, I hear a ding, give me one second, and I'll show you what it looks like. Alright, here's the email. Escalated follow-up from my Gmail account to myself, my work email, and it says invoice Joe is overdue, please see attached. And then there's the file. So it's not technically attached, it's technically still on the Monday server, but you just click it, it downloads it, and there you go. So that's one way to do it. I will show you another easier way to do it that I have since discovered how to do these emails, uh, which is now the way we do emails in our system. Give me a second, I'll swap back 
to Monday. Okay, so this way with the escalation, it requires you to attach a Gmail account. So it's not the it's just not the cleanest way to do it because it is you're using a separate email account. I mean, unless you're already using your Gmail account for everything, in which case, yeah, I mean, it works fine. Uh, but let's just say, you, like me, you have an internal email account that you don't want to connect to Monday for whatever reason. I, you know, have some security concerns with attaching my work email to go all the way, everything through Monday. So I don't want to do that. So let's just do it another way, which this way only works if the people uh, that you are sending the notification to are a member of your team on Monday. If they're not a member of your team on Monday, this will not work. Uh, but if they're a member, this works even easier. So we're going to do the same sort of thing. We're going we're gonna to do status again and change to escalate. And then instead of sending an email, we're just going to notify. So we're going to notify. And then same thing. This item, the invoice, is overdue. Please see attached. And then you attach the files that are attached to this item and then notify and then this time I'm just gonna select me all right so it's going to pull off of everybody that can see the board so for right now this is a private board but you can either have the person assigned to the item so you can notify the person that's assigned to it but generally speaking the person assigned to get it done is gonna be the person requesting that somebody else steps in to help so you're gonna want to notify a team member and this is a private board, so the only person I can see is me. But normally, this would show your full list of people that are members of your board. So you're going to click on the member you want to notify. And then you're going to create automation. So this is even easier. So I will show this in action. Let me, let me move this back up here. It's got the file attached. And I'm going to just escalate. And there it goes. And I'll... Oh, I, I almost forgot the most important part of this. If you want to do it this way, you need to go into your account. You need to go into my profile. And for whoever wants to receive these notifications by email, you go to notify. And then you go into your email notification settings. And you need to check. Uh, there we are. Notifies via, via automations. Pretty much everyone else on our team only has this one checked. I have them all checked because I don't care about having to delete like 40 emails. It doesn't really bother me. But this way, you're only going to get an email whenever it's specifically sent as a notification. And I will show you what that looks like now in, in my work email box. All right. For some reason, the picture's not downloading. But that's okay. So now it says invoice is overdue. Please see attached. And it's just coming from monday.com notifications to my work email. So it is not going through my Gmail. There it is. There's the file. Click on the file. Same thing. It's going to download. And there you go. So that way is much cleaner than doing it through a, a Gmail account. So that, that is totally up to you whether or not you, if it needs to go to somebody outside the organization, then you're going to need to do it through, uh, attach it to an email, either through Outlook or Gmail. I, I think you can do, Zapier will allow you to do a couple other choices as well. Uh, or you need to do it the way, or, you know, if it's all internal, do it the way I did it. It's cleaner, simpler, gets the job done, uh, and it doesn't, it, you know, you can just basically whitelist the monday.com. Uh, and if you have your notification settings set up correctly, you're only going to get emails from Monday when you actually need to escalate something. So that would be my recommendation. That's, that's sort of how you do it. Uh, hopefully this answers the question that was presented to me. If not, feel free to let me know. If you have other questions, other things you want me to do a video on, let me know. That is, you know, there's about a six month gap between this video and the last ones. I was sort of curious to see if anybody was going to be interested in watching them and definitely enough people watching them that I think I'll start making some more. There's a couple other questions on some of the other videos. I, at least I have some recollection of some questions. So I'm gonna start making some more videos because it's sort of fun. I enjoy showing it, and I have been using this program every day I, since the last time I made these videos. 
So needless to say, I, I find this program to be extremely helpful. Uh, I still have a long way to go uh, to get our team using it the way I'd like to use it. Right now, we're still mostly using it as an ad hoc uh, to-do list and doing a couple other things with a, a, some requests for documents from outside vendors, medical records, that, that sort of thing, which has been really helpful. But I would like to get to a place where we actually use it for our workflow and processes, but not quite there yet. I, so still working on that. But that's sort of where we're at. I, at this point, I've been using it long enough to sort of give people good ideas to best use cases that I've found. I'll tell you, there's a million different ways to set things up. Uh, a lot of it's just going to come down to personal preferences. This is the way I sort of found to do it. You can have a lot more. Yeah, you know, I try to limit the number of rows because I think it gets pretty bulky when you get a bunch of rows going. I uh, so the, the fewer the rows I can get, the better. I I prefer to have the context of stuff added as conversations or notes. Uh, I don't like to have a whole lot of information left to right uh, in the main screen. Because I just think it becomes a little overwhelming if you have too much going on. So that's just my personal preference. Everyone is going to uh, have per their own personal preferences for this sort of thing, which is what makes this program so helpful and so useful because it's so flexible. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.